Uh, Chris Chinock for Insight Media. I'm in CES 2023, and I've just talk, talked with a company called Brilliant. Uh, it makes a very unique display. Uh, this is based on standard LCD or OLED panels, uh, but they have a very unique optical layer uh, that creates a wide field of view, about 120 degrees, uh, that also appears to be uh, focused at infinity. So that kind of display is really what's typically called a collimated display and is used very often in uh, flight simulators and other simulators. Uh, but you need often multiple projectors to bounce off a very precise curved mirror that sits above the cockpit uh, onto a screen. Uh, pilots love this because it is very lifelike uh, and, and it, the images do appear naturally at infinity. Uh, but such a system is not portable, obviously replicates kind of a collimated display. They don't, they don't call it a collimated display, uh, but the image quality, at least in my opinion, is, is similar to it. It's, it's a 2D image, uh, but they also say it's, it's capable of uh, showing uh, stereoscopic images uh, as well. So that's very interesting. Now, they, the, the details, uh, the IP is supposedly in the public domain. I have not researched the patents, obviously. Uh, but the essence of this is that they collect the light from the panel, which would be coming at in a wide, um, wide variety of angles. Uh, they then focus that light into a sweet spot. Uh, there is a sweet spot for this display, perhaps 12 inches from the surface. Um, so once you're in it, you've got this wide field of view, uh, flat field that seems to sit out uh, at infinity. So it is very, uh, very lifelike and, and, and attractive. Uh, they are lossy optics, um, but uh, since the, the, for the prototype, uh, it's actually a product now that they're showing here. This was last year, a version of this was about $15,000. The current model is now available for $6,000. And if they can increase the volume production, uh, they can bring it down to about uh, $2,000. Uh, they have a number of partnerships that they're working with. Uh, one is with AMD. Uh, they have medical device partners. They, in fact, they probably have too many partners at this point. They need to kind of filter through. Uh, I was also shown uh, an 8K prototype in the back of the booth uh, that uses three OLED panels. Uh, LG Display is their, their panel partner for these, this product. Uh, this now is kind of tablet size uh, panels, I was told. Um, no details available. Uh, and they have a, a, a very obvious uh, optical, a faceted optical system. You can see the three facets in it. Uh, so it does create that wide field of view, but you can see the, the facets in it. We develop a new optical element that will smooth out that image. Uh, so that could be available, uh, well, who knows when. Uh, but clearly, they want to go to the more resolution. They want to go to 12K, is apparently on their roadmap. Uh, but they need panels, and they'll need applications for that. But I'm sure the applications will come a few Created display with that uh, pixel density. Uh, so let's go take a look at their display. I think I ran out. Uh, I'm running also. I just gave your colleague. No what? Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Thank you too. I'll send you the deck. Uh, this smaller version here, uh, this is, looks like about a 12-inch display here, uses the same optical technology, uh, but it's creating two different depth planes. Now, this is uh, uh, actually fooling you. Uh, I'm told that the optics are actually focusing these images at the same depth plane, uh, but they certainly appear to be at, at different depths. Uh, curious optical, optical trick, I guess, is the best way of putting it. Uh, this, this in the back is their, their 8K prototype. That's Chris Chinock for Inside Media.